I didn't sign in, that's why. And there's a bit of a delay, by the way. I started a new one, so that's done already. So you go back to my um, my main hub. Okay, so you could share that link. Oh, yeah. All right, bye. Okay, okay, bye. Uh, 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 here I am. Yes, I'm in. Okay, perfect. All right, so guys, uh, Anthony is about to share his screen. Uh, but for everyone else who can't get it on Discord or, you know, if you just want to watch it, Anthony is also live on his uh, YouTube channel. So he's, you're going to see his screen on the YouTube channel as well. I shared the um, link on the... I shared the link on the... Uh, portfolio uh, review uh, uh, channel so if you can if you can you can either watch it there again or, 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 or all right hello um, everyone hello so, right, sorry for the wait guys yeah i'm so um, sorry so okay so we have here today um we have anthony anthony is a uh, is a senior uh, uh you know visual development artist at um at marvel studios anthony has designed uh, uh baby group all the all the various uh, baby groups and team groups um has designed the uh, costume of loki has designed uh dermalogy for uh black panther um you know it's worked in movies uh games before that uh, for a long time um i've met anthony Oof. Working together at Reading News. Uh, he used to, uh, he was like the lead designer at the time on the Dragon for the Seventh Sun. Um, by the way, did you, did you end the stream here by accident? Yes, just by accident. I was trying to uh, share my screen instead of just my Photoshop screen. Okay, okay sorry. Uh, I'm going to reshare it now. Sorry. There, all right. There, can okay. you see it? Okay. Okay. So what's gonna happen is, um, we're going to. So we're going to go through the channel. Now to keep it fair, so that not, uh, you know, not everyone who's around when I made the announcement is gonna be seen first. I'm going to like, uh, sort of like, go back and forth between people that posted earlier and people that that I posted uh, later. Um, and we're also going to give priority to people that are actually around. So if you posted and you're here, uh, you're gonna have a priority over someone who posted and might not be, uh, might not be here. So, <clears throat> all right. So let's start. Um, let's do this. All right. Thank you again, Gabriel, for inviting me here. I just wanted to say, and um, everyone that's over here, hopefully, you know, I could give some insight on some stuff and answer some questions later on. Um, Yes, please feel free to talk to me later uh, on my Twitter channel or YouTube or Instagram. Okay, if I we didn't get to you today. Cool. So, right. Okay, so let's start from the top, and then I want to do this. So I want to ask if the person is in the chat, and then again, if they're not, then we're gonna probably skip them and go to you know like another person. So one sec. Alright. So is uh, if you're in the chat, so like the the, the first person who posted Ras Pencil, like if you're in the chat. Like if you're in the in the can you can you type like if you're around at all? Um, and again, if you're not around, then uh, you know we're gonna go to uh, person number two. All right, can actually let's do this. The first maybe the first like three people. So, Anne Callo and Ali Droid, uh, okay. and and Kelly Mo or whatever you say this name. Um, can you can you guys type in the chat if you're in the chat right now? 
the first like three people that, that posted. If not, we'll probably start from the bottom because I know that the, the, there's definitely people. Okay, I think the people that posted first are probably not around. So let's 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 mm. do the, the other okay. round. So let's start let's start from the bottom. Okay, so let's actually start from this one then. Let's do that. Yep, yeah. So this person is here. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Wait. I wanna send you so Anthony, I wanna send you the artworks and then okay. So let's start let's start from this one right here. I sent it to you on. Okay. Who did you send it to me? Uh, yeah, I sent it to you on, on the on the DMs on Discord. Uh by the way guys, uh, okay, you, see you're it. supposed to post only one artwork, not the whole portfolio. Okay, and is here. Okay, got it. Okay, okay, let's just start. Let's just start from the one. Let's just start from the one I sent you, and then and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, um, this is from. It's from uh, Elysium. Elysium. Sorry if I'm gonna butcher all you guys' names in the nick. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, looking at this image is is pretty cool. I like it. I think uh, what um. And and just to preface, guys, uh, we just have like we're gonna try to do five minutes each person, yeah. so we could get through as much video as I can. So I I could only talk about I guess um, as fast as I can. The first thing I could see here would be uh, the lighting, because uh, everything else is kind of cool, you know, cool design. I would push the design a little bit more. It depends. It would be nice to know what this is exactly for. But right away, the lighting could be uh, used a little bit better because you know because of the light coming from the candle, uh, you would probably want to uh, quickly just do a curves layer to test out how you could improve the lighting a little bit more and then have have the light radiate from the, from the candle itself. You know, just quickly even just doing that and hitting the points that the light the planes that the light would hit. Something like that. That would be like my first um, my first reaction to this would, would be that. Maybe some of the background there, maybe light coming from there. Um, then check to see having that single light source first and then try to figure out how to light the scene a little bit more it, does her eyes glow like I guess the feeling of the shot is is very important to me because it, it has to feel scary but still I guess she needs to feel um, almost coming out of the shadows it feels like that's that's my initial reaction anyway that need I would need from this shot Uh, in terms of design, I would, I feel that um, yeah, you need to have a little bit more work on, on um, how do you say this on uh, research, I guess, to see, to try to get more of an accurate uh, details for for her costume. Unless you're redesigning the costume, then it could be cool to still have that reference and then kind of bring it into the shot i could i, I could f see that it's still not quite finished i guess uh it's it's a good start so i think how important are references when when doing like a you know something like this that involves of course it's very costume costume heavy to me for uh to me uh, for for film it's very important to have really good reference because then you could be a little more accurate but then you know when you have reference you don't want it to be like a crutch you, you want to use that as a starting point and then redesign it uh, based on what you need it for um, so yeah it it would be it would be wise to have good reference at first but if, if you've been doing it for a while then you could go through your uh, your data in your brain first and see what you could do it's like a with the Dora Milaje and as they're designing the Dora Milaje, I had so much um, 
uh, reference already for for uh, African and, and tribal around the world that it, it's just was in my head and I just started sketching from there. Right. Yeah. And, and then I looked at the reference later. Yeah. I think this whole area would be... See, like right now, I, as, I, I would rather look for reference and see what what parts actually get illuminated or even take photos of myself to see where the light, you know, like hold a candle up or a, or a lamp just to see where these lights realistically hit your face, you know? I think this whole side should be like lit, I think. So if ever you're looking back at your piece and you're like, oh, there's something that seems to be wrong, just, you know, put your main painting to the side and then just do a little quick color, you know, uh, lighting pass on your design and try to be very accurate, realistic in your lighting and see if it matches. Of course, you don't have to be totally realistic because maybe there's something you want to um, uh, highlight, right? Uh, when when um, Ridley Scott does his lighting, sometimes some of it doesn't make sense, uh, but what it makes for sure is it, 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 it clarifies the uh, the shot, you know, like if she's disappearing too much in the background, if I did, um, these are all quick guys. So it, for sure her hair won't be being seen, right? Cause here it would go into the background like that. But then to pop her out a little bit, you imagine in the background, you have like a, like a light at, on the ground or something or above her that you could, You could pop her, oops, just use a screen. Just pop her out just a little bit. I would say, by the way, if you can, um... Can we save these so that maybe we can post them on the channel as well for the so the um this is so sketchy <laughs> it's not embarrassing to post it oh well, i guess you, you could um we could right, put right, notes we, on the side yeah we can, like maybe don't close it and then so maybe later we can post them okay yeah yeah i won't close it so yeah it's like for um, this one so this should be done um just for this see uh, so we do a before and after just to see if there's some improvement um And of course, it's not quite done yet, right? So before, it, it just feels like it's more vampiric, vampiric, I guess. And you're going, uh, you're traveling at night, and it's no no lights around, right? It just feels a little more. Of course, you could bring out more, uh, more of the materials and the clothing, and which is what I would love to do. So you know, it's actually cloth, and the thing at the back should this this piece right here should feel more like like stone. Um, again, reference would really help out with that, but. From here to here, it, it makes sense for the candlelight now. Unless, of course, there's a huge like light or torch right here that's lighting her from this side, and then you, you the same the same idea. You take another curves layer and then just test out your lighting uh, with the idea that the light now is coming from from this side. You know, like if the light's coming from this side, which sides, which parts will be illuminate and not you know don't be so careful about it just say okay i think this one here and here and just just block in that to see does that feel how's that feel just to see if it competes with the candle you know how much of that would you see that's what i would do with this piece anyway to improve it um aside from the detailing the costume and stuff but um maybe i should focus more on the costume design but uh, i have to say though my costume design and the mood that I kind of try to present my costumes in is very important because with some of the uh, uh, presentations I would do at Marvel, if you're not able to put the character in an emotional kind of feeling, even though he's still just standing up, if he's shy, if he's like, you know, Thor, that's all like cocky looking or the way they, he stands would, would show that. So it's kind of good to show um, uh, what the character's feeling at the time. Um, and it worked really well for me when I was doing stuff uh, for Ant-Man and because I ended up designing the ants for Ant-Man. But then I had to design, design Antony. And designing Antony, I had to um, make uh, like the producers and Kevin Feige 
feel like you're riding a bike, right? Like a like a really fast bike on on Ant Man on the Ant. And as soon as it felt like that, uh, they they approved it, you know, because they want to be that person riding that ant. It looks fun, you know. Um, hopefully uh, that helps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, sorry, guys. I'm gonna be the person to ask Anthony to move on to the next uh, next painting. So that, again, we can go through uh, as many as we can. So Anthony, I sent you. Like, I'm gonna. I sent you the second uh, artwork. Of the... Okay. Okay. Second. So. Uh, this second artwork is from uh, uh, Kalo. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is this is cool. Like popping out, uh, she she really stands out. I think, I think. I think with this, it's nice, nicely done. Um, I like I like the separation of the background and and her in the foreground. I think um, it would. It looks like the light's coming from this this side, so maybe the shadow should probably go that way, or or below her. But aside from that, uh, design wise, design wise, it looks pretty cool. I I would probably just just try another pose just really quickly. I, just want to see if I push this sideways a little more, see if that could improve her stance or something. Or what if she's walking forward more like this? Does that feel like she's about to attack you and she's not so um, so like relaxed and off balance if she's attacked? But if she's walking forward like this, maybe that could be a better like action to have, you know? Um, Oops. But of course, uh, the other piece you already did, I think, is really cool already. So I'm just trying to see is there is there any other way that I could push the emotion a little more? And then maybe this is just for me, all right? Just just uh, Caleb, just uh, take this with a grain of salt um, because it's just a suggestion that I just want to feel a little more because uh, I like the design already but can I feel her intensity a little more you know like maybe she's looking that way oh you think you you think you're badass you know I'm, I'm gonna cut you up <laughs> so um so yeah so from this so yeah I I, I like I like that I am trying to get this sweeping motion, you know, so maybe I could um, get that a little bit more just so there's more energy in your piece because I like the design already. Um, of course, there's, you could probably do more detailing in your design, but overall, uh, it seems it seems pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like I like this one. It's very cool too. Yeah, right. Like this. so, so and then and then of course, flip it. Make sure you flip as much as you can, just so, just to test if it's if it feels good, and yeah, it feels good. So I, I could do a before and after just to see if there's a difference. I mean, it's different pers personalities. So, um, but I think it's both her personalities. So it's it's cool. I, I like I like what you did, um, Caleb, or Kaylin. Sorry, I, I forget names so quickly. But yeah, Kalo. I think it's Kalo. Yeah, Kalo. Yeah, Kalo. Yeah. Uh, one other thing, maybe test out different horn horn shapes. Um, uh, like, you know, maybe uh, just a longer horn would be more uh, memorable. Uh, something unique, you know, like I would even make it really high, I guess. Again, these are all just suggestions. It, it's just a part of another option. I, that's what I do. Like sometimes I, um, like I, I worked on WandaVision for a little bit on, uh, what's her name? The, uh, 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 shoot, how can I forget her name now? 
anyway, the witch, the witch bad guy. Um, I did like twenty versions of uh, an idea of a direction, uh, but then five of each of those twenty would be very different directions. So, like if if I was to take this, this is one direction, and I would try a different direction in terms of what if what if the blue was a little bit more all the way here, you know, it's it's more like blue. Bomb. So, so then I'm, I'm going with the blue black with a little bit of um, uh, um, what do you call this? Uh, the accent color here, so that it's not all the way around. So your eye goes to her head, which is the real main focal point. So most of the yellow will be there, and the white with the the combination of these colors. There's no blue. Well, maybe you should put some blue in here. Maybe maybe her earrings or something. But, you know, it's all pointing towards the head. Um, anyway, hopefully that helps for this one. Was that five minutes? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to get to the, uh, I sent you already the next uh, art. Oh, you yeah, did? Very okay. cool stuff from, from Caleb, for sure. Yeah, that was cool. Um, uh, the next, uh, I sent you the next one. Uh, the next one is from um, Maruda. Again, sorry if I'm butchering you guys' names, but... Um, so this is she did she did this piece right here. Man, all your guys are good. They're they're all really cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're all. Uh, I don't even. Um, well, with this one, I don't know what the story is for, but it looks like there's a lot of uh, uh, culture and story within within this character, which is I I like that. I think all the first thing that would stand out to me is I need to separate her a little bit more and just kind of see where where I could define um, yeah it just seems like with this one it's just like a little bit of lighting just to add to her personality I guess I feel like that's all I need to like push her out a little bit more and in terms of design uh, maybe Maybe testing out different, um, how do you say, it's color combinations, but within that, within her, her color palette, uh, you know. It's... Let me see. I just want to see if the green uh, opposing the yellow kind of could help with some of the parts here because I guess the thing that stands out is all the materials look the same you know maybe you could just just very lightly just change uh, the tint of some of it just to see if there it could pop it out just a little bit more so it doesn't look all monochromatic um, because you know the nice uh, uh, complement of the yellows with the green or it doesn't have to be green but I just wanted to test it out. So uh, when you do concept art, it's always about like testing out um, ideas, see if it works or not, because you're solving a problem, you know. Um, yeah, I think other than that, this feels good already to me. Um, it it's hard to like to to know exactly what the project needs if if I don't know the story behind it, but. Uh, from looking at this, uh, I, I could formulate a story in my head already. So, like, good job on that. So, next one. Uh, yeah, I already sent you the, the next. Yeah. One. Yeah. Let me know, uh, like, if it's like one minute to the five minute yeah, mark. No. So. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. I'll, um, so I know. Um, yeah. So the next one is <clears throat> is an article from uh, Kaldim, and again, sorry if I'm butchering his names, Kaldim. Yeah. Called him, and this is a different person. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it says actually he, he put a bit of a background for this one. He said, her name is Berlian. She is a fighter who uses shields as her as her weapon. Ah, uh, awesome. the movement, movements of the shields controlled by her mind through her martial art movement. That's cool. Uh, I would I, I like the idea. It's really cool. I would say I love these this pattern here, and maybe if somehow you could echo echo this pattern somewhere else in the body um, so that it's not so uh, isolated there um, it doesn't have to be on the shoulder but uh, this is just like a quick way just to see where you could keep that theme going um, and 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 just to like 
um, I guess harmonize is not really a word, but to just pull things together. Um, it's like music, you know, you have like the main hook, I guess, or, or, or the the melody, and then you kind of echo it throughout. Um, so I feel like this is what I need for this, and maybe maybe making different um, patterns here that barely is seen. This kind of like what I did for um, Black Panther Dora Milaje outfit. It's like you do this, you make it into a mask, and then just imagine the part, the light parts that are kind of getting hit by the light a little bit. You know, but you don't see it exactly. It's like a second read after. Is my voice clear enough? Um, sometimes I go away from the mic. You know, okay. And I like the contrast with the head. Could really be um, you could play with this a little bit more because all the body looks cool. But what if her hair was red too? I just wonder if that would make her really feel. Oh, maybe maybe not <laughs> maybe it didn't work uh, or what if it's orange no what if her face is on fire <laughs> no, just kidding <laughs> feels like she could be what if she's bald this this is how I know I like your design because I'm thinking of other versions that she could be right bald and on fire I like it Bald and on fire. fire. Ooh. At the same time, you heard it here first. Bald and on fire. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. She was bald. <laughs> Real quickly, bald. Oops. And then, let me see if I could just do. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> you just go. on fire. Yeah. I mean, it makes it would make sense if she, if her head is on fire, she wouldn't have any hair. It would just the hair is yeah. And then burned. these are all like psh, psh, on fire too, psh, you know, when it go. when it when it attacks you and stuff. Uh, I would also say uh, this would be you would want to take this and and just make it. I mean, this is cool too. What what you have, but if if he it was just like facing us more and. Um, Like find a nice nice way of uh, making it fly towards us, I guess. You know, or or or. Yeah, this requires a little bit more thought, but. But these are just like quick ideas to try to see if you could have it, flying towards us. Ah, nah. Let me see. Like facing us like this more. Is that five minutes already? Sorry, just warn me if it's close. Yeah, yeah, we're basically we're basically there. I'm gonna uh, okay, get the yeah. next uh, painting while you finish uh, finish this one. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is this is uh, this is a good place already to try. Uh, also, the the stuff in the her feet is not is not shaped yet, so you could shape that out and see if you could. Um, Hopefully this is helping you guys because you could put this higher up here, up here, or you could, you know, you could try different, you know, or, 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 or what's cool is maybe these, these, um, these things could feel like fans too. It could like open up like fan. That could be cool, you know, and then that's what she could be holding in her hand is this. And then fans open, and then she throws it out and uses her like what kinetic is she telepath or whatever to to move it around. Uh, you could probably mess up her hair a little bit more. I would probably do that, um, and then do a version where you could see her eyes just all white. You know, um, I wonder if I did red on this. Okay. I, I, um... Okay. We need to yeah we probably need to get to the next one I already I sent it to you. Um, okay yes next one. So next one. <clears throat> um, okay so the next one is from. Uh, sorry let me read the name from. Uh, Ville Blue. Um, 
By the way, if anyone, when your when your if your when your artwork is up, if you want to add any uh, sort of like background where you're trying to do a story, like feel free to write it in the in the voice chat text, and I'll read it out for for Anthony. If there's anything you want to say, if not, it's fine. You know, we're obviously gonna get through anyway. Oh yes, um, if you have a question too, I wonder, Gabe, if if I, you I, made them allowed to talk so they could talk while I'm um, looking at their stuff or no. I think that I mean like having to mute and unmute like everyone. I, oh, I think yeah. it's fine to put it on the I think it's fine if they want to ask something on the voice chat, but at the same time, since we're gonna try to go through as many as possible, I think um I think if we start to answer each question for everyone, uh it's yeah. probably going to delay uh, so I would say that like, Maybe they could have one yeah. question or something. Yeah, like, like, yeah, look we could like guys if you have any questions about uh, what Anthony uh, spoke about, uh, ask it in the chat and then we're going to like sort of go through questions also maybe while Anthony yeah because like, uh, within five minutes within the five yeah. minutes I'm looking at their stuff yeah. I could probably yeah, look yeah, at yeah. some okay 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 all right so um sorry one sorry let me see here. but we'll keep it okay up. so yeah we have this other, yeah, okay so they have this piece from Bill, Bill blue okay there you go I sent mm -hmm. it to you on okay copy image Oops, why, why did it do that? <laughs> so, yeah. um, I'll, I'll also ask questions too, so for everyone, everyone in the chat. So as, you, as you're as you going to do this one, maybe, um, uh, you know, what if we also answer, like basically how would you, how, how do you start? Like how do you start a design? At all like how, how do you what is the process to starting like a design right? oh yeah so maybe it's something something we can answer while well um you know taking care of this painting as well yeah so at more uh i could answer specifically with how marvel i work at marvel what it is is um usually when we start a design it's uh the project that we're working on let's say i'm working on um black panther and and we'll know the characters they want to try. You know, let's try you know certain types of villains. Will this work? And and uh, but for sure we'll have the Dora Milaje in there. So now that we know the Dora Milaje is in there, I uh, would look into uh, the comic book, see if there's any pieces there that looks cool, or or the or the director may have something he likes the to jump off of, or sometimes even the storyboard artists uh, have really amazing. Um, uh, what do you call this? Um, um, scenes that they do together, uh, the scenes that they show, and then we kind of, you know, maybe there's something they like there. Uh, but specifically for the Dora Milaje, it would be uh, since you know, since we haven't hired the costume designer yet, and and they don't don't even have a script yet. Uh, we just went off of the way well i just went off of the way they look like in the comic books and trying to keep uh, you know close to the source material but then but then i um uh i i just started drawing uh because i i already had a lot of inspiration from all this uh, african and tribal stuff that i already have in my mind and i started sketching first in my sketchbook just so i could get some shapes out and patterns and then um I started painting it after like a day of just searching in my, you know, in my own mind, sketches and patterns and trying to uh, translate that into Photoshop. And once I, I, I had um, um, used up all my brain power, I guess, and then that's when I look at reference. And then I, and then I try to look and find the reference that matches my drawing. Um, that's one way. The other way is to start with the reference and, and have a nice gestured pose you know, uh, already, uh, and that sometimes takes me a while because sometimes you don't want to do the same pose, but in the end you end up doing the same pose because it's the best hero pose you could think of, you know? Um, and so when I start, I know it's a longer explanation uh, for that that requires like a whole class or something. You know, uh, I like these gestures, uh, maybe I, I try to work on my gestures the most first, so at least it feels really uh, powerful. Um, 
just pushing the balance a little bit more and when you think of the pit of the neck you know where that any uh, pit of the neck and whatever is down if it's down by the heel it's pretty balanced and then you have this kind of radial thing where if you're on the side a little bit more you're gonna fall more forward so maybe with her I want to try to push that action a little bit more so maybe just quickly trying to uh, maybe not warps not the best maybe a uh, um, liquid five is probably better. But I like this. This character looks pretty cool. I'm just trying to see if I could improve the feeling for him first. And by the way, my shortcuts got deleted from my, so I can't even just flip with the push a button. I have to go here. Yeah, no worries. Anthony has shortcuts, guys. <laughs> like, I know. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. I, I like it. But... Um, okay, so in terms of design, um, I, I, I don't know. I really like it. Is this for animation? You probably could make it simpler. Um, but overall, there's no... Um, I'm just looking at some of... The, the blues maybe you could have you could have it over here or something holding uh, this um this wolf um so something there or maybe some neck stuff or maybe this could go maybe over you, that's it okay, we have about like yeah you've got like 15 20 seconds and then no. okay okay all right so this is it for, for this one but overall a uh, great design um yeah um the the next one is from uh lotus um lotus flare lotus flare okay lotus flare let's see your work lotus Ah, Lotus, let me see. I should be doing this one instead, grouping. Ah, okay. Um, this is, this is uh, how do you say this? Um, interesting lighting, uh, it's difficult. Uh, I, could, I could tell uh, trying to work things out here. Um, let me see. Definitely shoot yourself for reference so you could see how how you could have good reference so you could know exactly what to do here I, that's what i would do because this shot's a little bit i guess difficult but i would probably try to see if i could even make it more um dramatic somehow maybe you don't see the whole face if this is a door opening i don't know if it's a door opening but if I could just even make that opening more um, smaller, I guess. And this is more storytelling, guys. It's almost like I'm, I'm just seeing how can I have more of an in impact um, with the lighting. In terms of design, I want to ask the people here because uh, I'm I'm just going off uh, what I feel could help the piece. But do they want me to focus more on how I would design it? Because I'm like doing lighting and gesture, and it's not quite the design, you know. Um, well, I guess um, maybe each person. So maybe Lotus, if he wants, if they want to answer in the channel, if they care more about like how to make it stronger as an illustration, or maybe they're interested in design. Um, Okay, so let us say I'm more interested in the design question mark. Okay, okay, <laughs> yes, design. Right. I'll do that for the rest of. 
they're interested in the, or they're interested in the yeah. Yeah, okay, design-wise, I would say these pieces you would need um, to figure out the, the texturing, right, of, of how this would actually go on top of your character. And, and uh, maybe since he or she looks like, um, you know, a fantasy character, you would want, you would want more, um, what do you call this, um, um, uh, like visual keys, this is, is, is a fantasy character. So these, this, um, what do you call this? Uh, a corset could probably feel tighter. Everything's loose on this guy right now, on this girl right now. I feel like it needs to feel like it's hugging her body a little more because she's a warrior. So I, f I think, it, with with me anyway, I would love her her costume to f feel, uh, like more of a warrior, right? Instead of, um, but then again, I don't want to change your idea for it because I could also see how she could also have flowy garments, but kind of plan it out a little bit more. Let me see if I could specifically say what parts I. feel should be done better hairstyle could play with that a little bit more I, I love the the knife design is really cool um, I would love to see other versions of the knife design I, it's like the knife design is, is going to the right direction but I I would love to see it even pushed more so it's even more iconic. Feels a little bit more memorable. It is already memorable right now, but definitely trying out some other shapes to push that design. I really like this um shoulder piece uh, or what is this? Like a like a poncho type thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, and I could see these pieces just being a little bit bigger uh, and showing off the braiding that you could have here. It's definitely has this theme that, I, that could be pushed th throughout her her body, even in her tattooing. Are these, can you ask uh, the artist, is this, um, are these claws? Is she like a, her 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 theme is like a bird feather theme. Um. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I can see what this would be saying. Because if it is, then your tattooing probably would be cool to have some. Her theme is based on a kingfisher. Kingfisher. Oh, okay. So it's it's uh, scales and stuff. So scales and and feathers. You could play with that for sure on this character. Um. Uh. And also material uh, texture, um, playing with texture. So some pieces of her of her costume could be hard pieces, and and to simulate like kingfisher scales, you could probably have um, braiding, you know, almost like to add to add texture to your to your materials. So it feels like scales or feathers, um, e even with this one. Not all of it, of course, because you want. And I'm just I'm just adjusting uh, how it's how it's sitting on the on your character. Um, and the reason why I do that is because it I think sometimes people don't look at the design because they're distracted by by how it yeah. it's it's rendered, you know. Yeah. But your rendering is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we have to uh, we have to move to to the next one. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Sorry. You could tell the problem is a little bit harder if I take a little bit yeah. longer. And at five minutes, not enough to no, no, talk about it's it. It's fine, of course. But um, uh, it's kind of like yeah, we're trying to. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I mean, I'm sure you could talk about each one for like an hour. Yes, each uh, one definitely. Uh, um, 
Okay, so the next one I sent to you, the uh, next one is from uh, Beko, um, and the description says, um, she's a young daughter of two desert merchants in a city that has a lot of superstition and symbolism related to eyes. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. That sounds cool. This is actually fun, like looking at everyone's work. It's really cool. Yeah. Also, like, yeah. I was surprised. Like, so many, there's so many talented people on Discord. You know, yeah. So everyone's really cool. I mean, all everyone renders really well. Um, so far with everything I've seen, and of course, uh, everyone can improve in some way. Um, but it's like it looks cool already. Yeah. In this one too, all of it, all of it, I'm seeing. I feel like everyone could be working somewhere already. <laughs> um, this one, in terms of design, I love the gesture. Uh, he's looking cool. She's looking cool. And um, maybe the only other the additions I could think of is just uh, playing with your materials. Because I love that this is this little um, shiny um, trinkets and stuff. Uh, I mean, headdress could be trinkets around her body here too, you know, even even down here somewhere. Maybe you could echo echo that design language here, like little shiny um, sequence, I guess it could be called, just to give some more interest in some of the other parts. Um, I would think this would add to it because there's not too much to add to this. This looks pretty cool already. Um, it's just, pretty, pretty cool pose, right? Like it's pretty dynamic. Yeah, and she's missing an arm. Yeah, right? I thought I think so too. I mean, that's how I read it. Yeah, so it's 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 interesting, right? I want to know more about the character. I think this is a good example of of like getting interest in your character, and then maybe a necklace. If she's really superstitious, she'd probably have more trinkets that give her things she thinks give her power um maybe stuff like that uh, i would add and it's all about i guess for this one it's just about detailing now because you have a nice base to work off of and then just trying different ways of um you know trying tattooing or, or flowing uh, with with them um, with how the ribbons could be um, um tied uh, but but overall I could, you could even try different patterning on this stitching. You'd probably try even going even deeper. This is, I mean, not for this one, unless you want to take it to more like re realistic level. Um, you could even look at the stitching on the sides here. See, see if you could try different way the stitching could m enhance the the design. You know. Or, or patterning in, in this dress uh, I would love to see or 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 runes right o on her veil maybe the veil has certain magical properties that you could probably use that and then she could change her veil uh, and then it would have different magic properties she turn invisible or something or she could turn it inside out anyway this is how I think right when you show me something like this and we're talking about design I'm just gonna start like brainstorming with you and then figure out different ways that she could be memorable or what um what else could she have in her arsenal or her secret weapons or something um uh, and her costume changes if she has any plus the arm b missing it's interesting because then i could see you know what if she does like a magical spell or something and then her arm turns into like a, you know a dragon or a snake or something yeah these are all just higher concepts that you could test out and stuff is that does that sound cool um what's her name what's his name or the designer i'll just call you designer uh <laughs> is that cool designer <laughs> yeah i really like this uh i like this concept too i agree it's very interesting it's kind of like uh what you said earlier i feel like when you look at a design it makes you want to know more that's like successful design yes definitely um, okay, here's the next one. So I sent you, yeah, I sent you next one. It's Any feedback from from the last person? Um, from... Yeah, we can 
in general, by the way, everyone seems really happy with uh, you critiquing more about design. Uh, uh, so I think in this time, in the short time, so we can focus more on the yes, yes, the, okay. But it seemed like it seemed that everyone really liked the more of the, to hear more from the design side. Awesome. Um, so this one, is, this one is from Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Let's see, Lucas. Okay, but Rebecca said that in the previous design, she gets like a, I guess a demonic arm in the missing one. Oh, see that? That's so cool. See, that's how I know you did really well because that was leading me to that. And you were saying that uh, she has superstitious beliefs. She's, you know, spellcaster and stuff like that. And and that is amazing. She, it's like a cool uh, uh, character in, like if she was a Street Fighter character, I, I would love to like take this character and, and turn it into a Street Fighter character. How would that look? It'll, it'll be so amazing. I, I really enjoy the design. By the way, I also enjoyed everyone's designs, by the way. Like this one I really like. Um, I, I like the patterning of this. Just just to make sure you guys, I did touch a little bit on, on design sense on this and yeah. and and here focal point of your design. And, and here's yeah. more, you know, more um, material materials and references you really need on this. But, um, but if you're pushing your designs a little bit more like this one and this one, I could talk about it a little bit more. You know, when it's yeah. more realistic like this, it's it's yeah. more about right the research and the storytelling yeah. and stuff. But yeah, that's why this that's why this one is um, you know, just a lot of design in here. Um, okay, so for this one, uh, it's looking cool. You know, that I, I have to say I like the rendering, and and when I always talk about some lighting to present it, it's this is what you need to remember when you're presenting like at Marvel anyway, you know, I can't just, you, you always want to have that extra edge. Um, uh, one thing I, I could also say is when we present a design, since sometimes it looks small in their screen, I would just take this and then just make it like bigger all the way to the edge of your, of your frame. Just so now he looks more intense, right? Like, like whoa, that feels even better now. He doesn't unless he's a dwarf. Did I make a mistake? Is he is he dwarf? Yes, they might tell us in the chat in a moment. Yeah. But... Ah, this is cool. I, I no, 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 he's not. <laughs> oh, he's not. So okay, so he has to feel like big then. Um, yeah. Overall, this is looking cool already. Uh, maybe he's, uh, clearing up your material, materials, making sure this is um. You know, this is shiny or feeling like metal. Uh, I think I. For so me, he's a human, but he's a psychopath. That's what he said. A psychopath. <laughs> okay. So maybe making him feel more feral, even you know, in the design, instead of making his hair just be kind of kept, it should be like feral. You know, like. That's it. In his mind, the baby he carries is not a puppet, but an actual baby. This one at the backpack right here? Yes. If he's really crazy, he should have baby heads, like, on his, <laughs> you know, like, on his belt, just, like, all in different levels of, like, decomposition, you know, just like, ah. <laughs> like, And he thinks they're all of his sons or something. And he talks to them. Oh, that would be crazy. Each one, he just so if this is like a little little rope that goes down here, he would grab it and put it by his head and say, "What do you think, son number one? What do you think, son number two? Oh, should I kill these people?" He <laughs> was like, "No, no, daddy, no." And then shut up, uh, up back there, you know. And he just hits him with his, uh, you know, with his long sword. Yeah, um, like but it. yeah, so these are the big ideas that I love to talk about, and it doesn't even require uh, drawing. We just talk about it, just brainstorm it. So that's why it's important for me to be able to talk to people. So please, you know, yeah. uh, tap yeah. in your chat so we could talk about what your character would be and maybe I could add to that, you know. Um, one of the stuff that I like doing that they use me at Marvel is is when there's like a big idea that they want to try. For example, uh, like Doctor Strange versus Thanos, you know, uh, how would that look like with four of the Infinity Stones? And we want an epic battle that you've never seen before. 
and right. then and then I get nervous like ah uh, and then I just get excited after it's like oh I wonder you've never seen before and then I start dreaming and thinking and like oh shit there could be so much stuff that I could do and um, so I came up with the uh, the um, idea of the moon shattering and then Thanos like raining down these rocks on on yeah. on uh, yeah, so uh, on Doctor Strange, uh, man, and I epic moments in the movie for sure. Yeah, it, it it was fun, and and between that, what I was trying to also do was, what if Thanos took Haley's comet out of its orbit and you know teleported it on top of you know Doctor Strange? So I was like pitching this to Ryan, like how it could be, and he pitched it to the executives. Um, also, I, I did like I took a little red dwarf. And then a, a black hole, and then put that together. If Thanos was that strong, to put that together to bring out the fire from the sun into the black hole, but but then directing it towards Doctor Strange. Um, and nice. yeah, and they kind of did that in the film, but it's not from a from a sun in the black hole, right? He just d redirected a fire thing. So it's kind of based on some of the ideas that I tried. Um, okay, well, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. No, next. Sorry. Yeah, we can go to the next. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Actually, I like the ideas of the. This is a, this is a psychopath. I also love the idea of like pushing it further with like the baby heads or some other messed up elements for sure. Yeah, and they talked to him. I, I could see there. It's so awesome. You should use that. Yeah. Um, add it to your thing. Um. So the next one is from uh, uh, Evan. Evan. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're gonna go a little bit faster here. I know. I... Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna probably speed up a little bit, but yeah, Evan. But if you, if anyone wants to say something, because some people did, by the way, I'm gonna read you what people wrote about the Yes, yes, please. People didn't. Uh, I don't have anything to go by, but also, uh, also, please, uh, you know, give feedback if you like what I'm talking about, or if you do want to hear something else than what I'm talking about, because uh, that would really help me give better value for you guys, you know, coming here. Yeah, and also like this is the first time. Like usually we do lectures with you know when we have guests like you here, but um, this is the first time we're doing portfolio review, and I think after this one, it's giving me a lot of ideas of how to structure it, like you know the next one even at, uh, like in a smoother. Yeah, when I did this in my Discord, I did this, and it was just so many people. I I did have to do the YouTube channel because no one could like join in, and but what I had done is I I would have them with me in the room, but they could talk to me, so it's a easier conversation. Uh, yeah. With 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 the moderator, of course, because she, she would be yeah. listening to the other people, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So cool, cool idea. Uh, is 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 this like um, you see inside his body? Um, what is he saying? Yeah, yeah, I want to tell you once, uh, once uh, you know they're they're typing. So okay. But um, right away, what's the first thing I could think of? I, I it's pretty clear how to improve it. Um, I almost want to feel tech stuff on his face too. Um, yeah. So the the device on his chest is a supercomputer powered by kinetic batteries on his arms and legs. Oh, I see. I see. I just want for my crit. I just wanted to also make these wires feel like it's going over his body a little bit better. Um, you know, that that's one. And what, um, the head's a little bit up too, too much, maybe the next too long. Uh, but the, maybe you could have some stuff here that could help uh, with, with the costume. And how, how does he put this on? Is there like a zipper? Is there like a... I think with this design, it's just the little things now, knowing how it actually fits on him properly. Is this a vest? Mm. A vest like, like this? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like a... Looks like a, definitely like a sort of part of a whole setup. It looks like he has to wear this maybe too in order to... Yeah, so this. he has to definitely clarify the materials a little bit more, I think, and then add extra design elements here that could just help... Uh, um, Oh, what do you call this? What's the word? Um, support the design for this thing. Because I want to know if this is outside of his body. I can't tell. I feel like 
I'm looking inside his body here for some reason. Yeah, so overall for your stuff, it just feels like you need to make the materials affect each other and to clarify the material. I, I, I know this is probably not all the way done yet, but like maybe it, this looks like wires, so it almost feels like it needs to go into this and this could have like an input output jack or whatever up there. Um, and I could and, see. Uh, uh, and I guess like, again, I'm asking questions to, to things that might be interesting to. to yes, yes. So for instance, in a case like this one, right, where he, he clearly focused on, you know, surrounding design and the head looks like, you know, it's maybe like kind of like a bashed you know, picture type of thing. So what is, what is like, what is your, what are your thoughts on like, you know, if you want to be more of a costume designer, like we focus on the, on the character side of things from, from a design standpoint, like what are your thoughts on basically focusing entirely on the, the costume and, and that, and then, you know, for instance, the head, yeah, you just, you just sort of photo bash the head and then focus on the rest of the body. Like, what are your thoughts on, like, how important yeah. is, it, um, is that you are to the head or like, is it fine? You just focus on the body, use like a picture from the head. Um, I would say it's fine with me, depending on what you're practicing on. If you need, uh, of course, if you want to practice on, on, on portrait painting, you have to do portrait painting. But for this particular one, we're just talking about design. You could just drop in a photo of a character you want to cast or an actor you want to cast. For me, it's fine. Um, uh, but if for certain jobs, maybe they might not be fine with it. And when you put the head, just remember, you guys, to make sure the lighting is properly, put the right lighting on the head that you have on the body and just don't just plop like mm -hmm. a head without understanding the lighting and that could be a deterrent of you getting hired unless your design skills are so amazing that they don't care about that um, I would say I focus on design more than anything uh, when I was because I am not a good renderer you know I'm better now but um, before it's, it's terrible so I just made sure I have design because you could do design design could uh, uh, what do you call this um, could be uh, your skill in design you could do it in any 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 job I guess uh, it, it practices your imagination and, and how um, how you could think outside of the box and usually when you do design it's not just what you're drawing you have to be able to to kind of dream out of what you usually know so then it's good to always have researching or watching documentaries so you have more ideas on how you could solve a problem because when you do concept art you're really solving problems for people and um, uh, what what is your advice to students like should students like uh, start to photo bash heads or like should they keep it for later should they focus on, on painting what is your advice to students in that, in that regard i would advise uh to students to to write I think stories in your head even if it's not big stories just uh, memorable ideas let's say time travel um, give yourself okay time travel how will I solve that with within a certain look well time travel in feudal Japan how would that look like you know those are the things I would say for design that you would be practicing um, and then and then you have to get better with your drawing to to visually show your idea um, because in the end it's really your ideas that you're you're selling you're selling you as a a thinker um, not just an artist but you just so happen to have to draw this stuff um, and yeah. yeah so and then after that you um, um, and, and then you'll have a good base for your designs to even be interesting because if you just start doing your designs uh, without any like idea to solve then it just doesn't feel um, interesting enough you know um, but okay. but I know it's different levels for different people where, where they want to yeah. go um, but hopefully you're just watching me break up your shapes uh, is 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 a um, how do you say this it help helps you out you know hopefully yeah. All right, we need to go to the to the to the next one. I would say, um, okay, let me see, because okay, there's a lot of information for this next one. Okay, I would say maybe he doesn't need to pee anymore. He'd have like this little piece. Okay, I, I, I can't. I I have to bring this thing somewhere, and I don't have time to stop to pee. So I'm gonna pee in this little. 
Yeah, I mean, um, it's kind of like, you know, snipers, right? When they're like sitting for like six hours on a spot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's like a whole system there too. You know, they just do it. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, no, no worries. Uh, that's, a, that's a good point. Um, okay, so this next one is from uh, Minog. Um, okay, so this for this one. Okay, so first of all, he's asking, so they would like to know if you hate or dislike any elements from it <laughs> um, and uh, what could be done to tailor it more to work for a director uh, at basically like similar to like the projects that you usually work on basically is there anything that could be more tailored for that audience and then uh, I guess the background is that she's an oracle slash druid slash alchemist uh, mix oh. Uh, fantasy settings based based on Visigoth, Celts and Vikings. Yeah, um, I can't seem to copy me? this. I can't. I cannot seem to copy. Oh, okay, let me let me do something for you then. Uh, I'll do something. I think I know why you can't copy it. I think one second. Let's yeah. Do this, uh, one second. Come on, I'll send you again. Uh, okay. What about? What about now? Can you grab that image that I sent you now? Uh, yes, I could now. Okay, cool. It works now. I, it, yeah, it brought me to like a... Um, Oops. So uh, basically I also was asking, uh, so I was going to give her like elf ears and play with the fantasy, but I thought maybe it's too much. Um, and then said, how could I uh, stipulate more fantasy entertainment design? Uh, so these are these are these are the things. So if you hate, dislike anything, is there anything uh, about the presentation? I guess that could be done to tailor it to, to like a movie director, like the ones you work with, and and then this background of fantasy of like uh, druid alchemist mix. Yeah, this one. Sorry. Uh, let me get this. Up did, it, here. did it work now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, it this is really cool already. <laughs> it's you guys are so good it's so hard to even just it takes me long to figure out what's what i could help you with because the detail on this is really cool um i mean it's try nitpicking some stuff really proportion i guess could be worked on a little bit more maybe more expression in the face um but the idea is is awesome when, if if you're asking me in terms of Marvel characters, working for Marvel, specifically, let's say you want this to go to Thor. I could see this in Thor, um, like Thor Ragnarok or something. Um, but the one the one thing you need to add to this uh, for Thor Ragnarok would be something funny, I guess, a little bit. Um, how would you say this? Oh, let me let me think for a little. Uh, does he have any other questions? Is but uh, okay. For one of your questions, uh, I I do like it. It's really cool. Um, I like the details you have in here. I really don't know how else to improve it. Really looks cool. Uh, now just see if it serves the story properly. Um, yeah, nothing much to say. I, I'm back to the posing and now I want to see it in more of a light lit scenario, but as, um, mm -hmm. as a design presentation, I think this is cool already. Yeah. I, I don't know what else to, to add to it. It's, it's cool. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're a professional already, huh? I could, <laughs> you probably are. Um, and if, if you're not, then you should, uh, you should be. <laughs> yeah. Actually, a lot cool. of them could be, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, maybe we'll get yeah. back to him if, if. Yeah, yeah I agree. It's I have I, mean, I, I think, for instance, in this one, you could probably focus on the lighting, whatever, but then because we're focusing on, on the design, I think we could. Probably... Yeah, because he hit a design feeling already yeah. with this one i feel yeah, yeah i agree okay so i'm gonna send you next uh, next one okay so can you copy this one you should be able to copy paste them if that's not the case okay so i want to read the backstory so you know while you copy it um okay okay sorry what's going on with my cat okay, good luck. 
Okay, so um, <laughs> okay, so okay, so this one. So uh, she's a vengeful spirit. Uh, came back from the limbo, taking revenge on the village that burned her alive for being a witch. Mm. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, and she and in her hunger, she didn't stop. Uh, okay, so this obvious idea was Ghost Rider and feudal Japan. Oh, that's awesome, Ghost Rider, and it's a girl, which is yeah. an awesome take on it. I. Uh, she's a sorcerer. I almost want her not to be a sorcerer, to just be a regular person, you know. And and uh, taken back from life. Uh, taken back from birth. life. Yeah. Learned her life as a witch. And so. then and then she was falsely accused, and then now she also. Um, I would say, for that, she needs to feel more like a witch. You know, um, maybe. Uh, she wouldn't have. A helmet um, design wise there's some busyness that's happening that I feel with value separation maybe we could see if I could um, let me see if I could uh... just separate it a little bit more Maybe the armor doesn't have to be white. Maybe the armor could be black instead. And just like really shiny black armor. So when the fire is like, maybe the fire could even go further out probably. Oops, it's in multiply, hold on, let me. So I'm just I'm just trying to group your uh, values to see which kind of could work a little bit better. So they're not all the same. So yeah, th this will require a little bit longer time because I gotta. And okay, just just quick stuff. Hold on, I, I would like to see this bigger, design the shape a little bit better for this. Uh, have this fire just be a little bit more engulfing and then maybe that uh, maybe this shape could uh, this this uh, rhythm line could kind of follow through with the fire in her head you know or something um, I think that could maybe be cool or if if not you could have these flames just go a little bit out here more and then even going to her arm or something and if you have the fire in you could have it somewhere inside here too where you could see it kind of flowing out a little bit maybe with her power she could make the fire go through the you know the the chains to all the way here and just it just feels for me it'll just feel more uh, intense you know because uh, without that it just it, like it's missing something I like the color color palette the the orange uh, for the fire and stuff but maybe it could just pop out a little bit more with with more uh, like um fire going on her chains um that's just an option of course uh, you have to try different levels of fire on it um anyway that that's the first one have one with that and one without and one with with uh designing the fire shape of her head around here how how would that look like more how high could that be you know anyway those are your versions you should have at least three to five versions of of what i just said and did that help? Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. um, I think it's uh, very clear. Cool, um, cool. Okay, so I think we could go to the to the next one. Yes, yeah, the next. Stuff, um, <laughs> this is cool. So the next one is a uh, halfling bard uh, from uh, uh, what is it? from from Zelika. Um, so she did uh, yeah, this bard right here. That's pretty cool. Um, Hey, uh, Gabriel, just to let you know, um, I would have to leave at around 11.45. I have to pick up my daughter um, oh, okay, okay, from okay. gymnastics. Okay. Uh, so I guess like, um, yeah, because we had like a big delay in the beginning. Um, yeah, sorry, I guys. Say, I could do I it again. Say, I would say for everyone, I would say something maybe like, you know, we can, um, once we're done uh, today, I think um, we don't ask anyone else to post any more art. 
and then maybe you know we schedule it again maybe in like a couple of weeks or whatever and then we get yeah. to uh, we can get to the people that uh, we didn't get to today so that, that you know at least uh, you know kind of like more people have a have a chance because i was about to ask you like i was going to move down now like and, and start to take a look at some of the more yeah. stuff that people from, from the bottom but or maybe when um, i come back if you guys uh, are, are are okay with that after when i come um, back I think it's probably better to just reschedule it like okay. for like a different day. I think it's probably it's probably for the best. And this um, time we won't be late. Sorry guys. <laughs> I had <laughs> no. I couldn't connect it to my YouTube channel. It's like how can how can everyone watch it, you know? So uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it at a similar yeah. time to keep it fair. We're not going to change. We're going to with like morning uh, our time. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and we can get through we can get through some of the people. So I would say then let's just, let's do this. Let's let's do let's do this just one. It's just this one. Yeah, this and is really cool have... already, so I don't know what to, <laughs> what to uh, say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I was going to say, let's do this one. Maybe we can pause. If you have, a, a, you know, I can ask a couple of questions if you want to answer. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, we'll do it uh, We'll do it the next time. Uh, we'll, we'll schedule maybe like in a week or two weeks or whatever, whatever you can do. Yeah. We'll talk about that offline. Okay, I okay, will do that. You know, one wrong thing, I guess, about this piece is, where's your signature? <laughs> <laughs> how would I know if I like it and I go okay I like this guy where I I, oh, I can't find him I don't know who did this yeah. um, and someone might just go and just do this you know on it uh, Anthony <laughs> just kidding I'm kidding um, uh, but overall I, I think this is cool um, I would uh, I just wonder what the what you could do with for her legs is this her skin that's not her skin it's um maybe maybe there's there's something you could do with this or maybe well actually or, or down here i don't know but the the legs seem kind of empty but overall this one's really cool is she like um like a not an elf like a dwarf bard or something yeah, it says like yeah. I guess it's a half and bard. That's what. It, ah, that's, that's what it awesome. Like, it's awesome. It's like I. A, hmm? No, I don't know. I guess it's like I. I think it's from D and D. Yeah. Um, it's really. Yeah. It's really well done. It's cool. I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe just a little bit more on. Stuff up here, or even some neck, something with her necklace or something in her hair, that she could have. Um, you say that the legs are like uh, leggings type, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's something. Basically, could... she's wondering how could you, how could this design be pushed more. Yeah. Uh. Well. I know you can you can push it more. I would. Okay. Let's say let's say because uh, I don't know what your story is and how much we need to push it, but but even taking it away from the regular bard look could possibly help but it'll, it'll just feel more different you know um, it'll just be different this is still cool what you have but what if you know you you, you redesign like the this bottom part to to feel like right. right so just just adding a little bit more layering into your design I would say and even cutting pasting like this just to see if Oh, does that feel right? Can can I work with that? Does that make it still look like a bard but but different? And since you rendered it already, this could be like fairly quick to kind of do an option, you know? Um, what if for character design reasons, what if, you know, her legs were a little bit smaller? Just changing the proportion of her body, see if that would work. Um, cause I like, I like all this stuff here. Um, you know, it, 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 can we try it down here? No, no, maybe not. It's all like trial and error. Can I have this color down here? Does that work? Um, can we redesign the shoes, you know? Will that look cool um, like that with, with like gold, um, little gold uh, anklets or whatever you could have just to add some spice to it, I guess. Um, maybe 
maybe here maybe um maybe i could push her body even smaller here just push the shape of her hair maybe even more um these are all maybes by the way until until i'm on it just a little bit longer i could see how Nah. Like uh, this is just testing out stuff. If if a hood, if she had a hood instead, you know how would that look like on her? Um. Right. This is helping. Um. Uh, whoever designed this. Yeah. Just um, yeah, yeah. I mean, very interesting in, in uh, basically how to push the design. So, um, yeah, just because all this design, you have a nice base already. So all this design needs is just um, it doesn't need it actually. It already looks cool, but like you said, if I was to push it a little bit more, how would I do it? Um, and I would, I would try to take all the normal stuff and try to see how I could uh, uh, just replace it with stuff that's not normally seen let's say like your sword here you know if it wasn't a sword and if it was like a like a a hammer or something but why would she have a hammer i don't know um <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it could work uh and then then you could design the hammer uh, maybe she uses it for food or it's a little hammer axe or hammer axe and you start giving yourself little stories or maybe it's a smaller hammer axe um, so it's not too threatening uh, or maybe it's a broken hammer axe I, I, I'm just trying to think of like a story for her you know yeah, it could sure. be that um, but this little trinkets down here with the little rings golden rings could be really cool here because if she's telling a story and then she's singing, maybe she would shake a leg and the leg would make a sound of a cat. I don't know. The trinket's a cat trinket, you know, or something like that. Um, that could be cool. Um, hopefully that helped to take this a little bit. For I, I would, I would try this part though. See if if I could have more folding up here. If, cause, cause this, how do you say this? This, uh, this material here, and this material, if how I could, maybe I could separate that more, and this could be like a little shinier or something. It's like a metal type. Yeah, metal, but not um, hard armor. Yeah. And then this could have the little um, braided stuff here. Um, maybe even the buttons on this could. And this this is just going into detailing already, zooming in, and then just try to see how you could incorporate some of the other pieces here, themes on your on the metal pieces, and bring it. I think you have it happening here on the edge here. Yeah, you do have it here, but instead of just on the tip there, try to follow through all the way. Yeah, to the back here, um, around. Um, even like adding pieces of metal on her on her face could could be different you know I know this looks like Gamora though but but yeah like that even taking some of the Gamora idea designs and trying to put it here um, hmm. hopefully that helped you know sorry it's yeah. so sketchy <laughs> yeah that's that's awesome man um, so I mean so since you have to go I want to to keep you longer but let's let's do this um so everyone who we didn't get to today um let's just yeah let's just make it so like we're not gonna uh get any more art posted because there's 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 enough that we can go through next time actually next time we can probably finish it judging from how many are left we can for sure, for sure uh, go over the next thing so let's schedule with you a um like a, let's let's schedule like, yeah I'll, I'll work with you offline to schedule like another day whenever it works for you um and uh you know we'll do part two and so we can go because okay. i feel like it's it's uh i feel a bit bad that we had we had these technical issues at first so 
Um, yeah. You know, I definitely want to make sure that, uh, you know, maybe some people that we didn't get to, we can get to next time. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Sorry, guys. Uh, but thank thanks you for... So much. No, no worries, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, bro. Like, uh, really appreciate you coming, doing this for, for the Discord. Uh, I'm going to post, guys, follow Anthony on, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I posted them in the in the voice chat text channel. Uh, also, uh, uh, we posted many times already his link to his YouTube. Feel free to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, and um, yeah, like uh, we'll definitely uh, uh, we'll definitely schedule another one uh, to go over the whoever we didn't get to. And then feel free to uh, uh, you know again I have a bunch of ideas how to streamline it. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, like because like again the text is it could be like can slow it down even more in a way um but i, I have some ideas of how we can streamline it cool. for the next one so we can we can definitely get now so just want to say thank you to everyone too uh sorry i don't get to look at the chat on my youtube i was just like really focused so i could get through yeah. as many people yeah. as i can but but Absolutely. thank you guys again um also if any questions just comment in my in in the live feed after i'm done i guess please please comment that actually helps uh, my channel too. Um, uh, that would that'd be awesome. So it 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 helps me like want to do this more. So uh, hopefully that helps. <laughs> yeah, I remember like I posted the links to, for Anthony stuff in the voice chat and text. So uh, again, follow him. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll schedule it again. So again, sorry who, if we didn't get to you today. Uh, also, if you have any questions or anything, like write them in the whatever channel you want, like the voice chat, the general chat, whatever, and uh, we'll we'll schedule again. We'll schedule another one. We'll go. Okay, we'll do that. Thanks. Thank you so, so, much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, brother. I'll talk to you soon. And thanks for everyone who's tuned in. Again, thank you so much. It's been very, very like nice to see how many people tuned in and how many people submitted their, their artworks. There are like, so many people. It's crazy. Yeah, great also, stuff, guys. Yeah, super talented people on Discord. It's crazy. It's, it's um, awesome. So, oh. <laughs> it's awesome. So, I'm, trying look, that, like, I'm trying to look at huh? what other people said so far because I'm not on on the screen before I go. Let me yeah. just see. Um, Everyone and here. also, yeah, like uh, maybe, like again, no rush, but like, yeah, maybe you can save this out, and then if you want, you can send them to me or like whatever you want to do it. And yeah, yeah, for sure. Them, I'll post them on the, I'll post them on the channel. Uh, definitely post them. On the channel. Oh, here I see it now. I see some of you guys, Zedjika, Debelli, Jack. Uh, thank you so much, and Levi and Tanis. Uch. Yeah. Okay, Leon. Yeah, yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you again. Okay, I have to go. I have to go before yeah, she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, run, run. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Anthony. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Right, thanks, okay. guys. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. See. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.